I love it. I, I mean, my home will always be London, yeah, but I, but if I have to spend, you know, pretty much a year in another city, then New York's not a bad second place to come and to come and live. The end is here. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint left their mark on the Big Apple as they walked the Harry Potter red carpet for the last time. The fact that I landed kind of this amazing, action-packed, stunt-filled role at such a young age was great. And I, you know, I've got to do stuff in this. You know, like I did on the fourth film, I did a 40-foot fall down a roof or in the Dragon Chase. I did like 41 hours underwater for that film as well. You know, like stuff like that that I probably won't get to do again for a while. Like it's so good. Like genuinely, really proud of my work and proud of what we were all able to achieve with it. And it's 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 like epic times four. Like it's it's really like really blows your mind like it's it's a really impressive thing i love being involved in storytelling i love the whole once upon a timeness of making films reading books doing a play and this is you know one of the best examples in recent years of the fact that that's a dying art if we manipulate people's uh, time in the movies or in a book or in the theater too much you know you've got to trust the writers it's probably more emotional than people are expecting because we always said we'd have battles and spiders and giants and dragons but I think what people bring into the auditorium when they visit this film is 10 years of experience of these characters and this world and they're seeing in this two hours in the dark these people say goodbye so it's actually surprisingly moving I'd say I think in some ways it's the first film that has an end because it is the end and I think that's very special I, it's epic it's the battle it's what we've been leading to for the previous seven films so we been leading to this final battle for the wizarding world for the world as a whole the final confrontation between Harry and Voldemort what do you love about Harry Potter the character the most um you know I like how he's um He's always a little bit stubborn, Harry, in the films. You know, he's always trying to protect his friends. And uh, I think it's just, you really feel uh, in the acting that Daniel Radcliffe does, you really feel the genuine feel of uh, Harry Potter. I love that he never stops elevating. You know, I like that it, that no matter what happens, he still gets up. 